2000 to 2010 was the era where anime threw up the best it had to offer. Death Note, Code Geass, Gurren Lagann, Higurashi, Steins Gate, School Days. This was the era where the legends were born. But what happened in the little corner of romance anime? Today we're seeing 10 of the best romance anime from 2000 to 2010. Number 10, welcome to NHK. Time to meet the paranormal bros. First off, there are guys who act antisocial, and then there are guys who think they're forced to act antisocial because some evil organization is pulling strings in the background. Our guy in Welcome to NHK belongs to the second category. Here, we have one guy with both social and psychological issues trapped in his apartment bedroom, thinking everyone is forced to be antisocial by an evil organization called the NHK. Who comes to save him? A pretty girl, of course. <laughs> Welcome to NHK goes the usual route with the popular girl dragging the unpopular boy out of his social dilemma, but this time we have psychological elements mixing in. Even though I called our main character a psycho, don't worry about it too much because you're definitely gonna fall in love with him once you learn his struggles. Number 9, Sakuga no Shana. It's rare for anime these days to combine action and romance well together. But surprise, surprise, Sakuga no Shana does it right. It's about one badass girl hunting monsters, or denzins, these monsters are called denzins, and one innocent boy who gets dragged into the mess. Oh, and the denzins come from a parallel universe and devour human minds. <laughs> We meet Yuji Sakai, who gets jumped by these denzins, but luckily a mysterious hunter named Shana saves him. But Yuji's not out of the woods yet because a denzin already chowed down on his mind. So, will he join forces with the weird girl to get his mind back? He sure will! You'll love that badass girl in the oblivious innocent boy relationship, and you'll love it. Even if you don't love that, you'll still love the action. Number 8, Itakis. <laughs> Even though the title mentions kiss, it takes a while for the characters to actually kiss. The story is about Kotoko Ahara, who ends up living under the same roof as Naoki Iri, possibly the smartest student in their school and even in Japan. Kotoko has liked Naoki for a while, but things got a bit messy after she sent him a love letter. Now that they're living together, Kotoko sees a better opportunity to tell Naoki how she feels. <laughs> This is one of those anime where the unpopular girl falls for the popular, smart, and talented Gary Sue. And if you're wondering why that happens, that's because this is a shouju anime, which means it's targeted for girls. Despite all the drama, Eat the Kiss goes beyond just your typical romance story and becomes really heartwarming. There's also some comedy sprinkled throughout, but when the dramatic moments hit, they really tug at your heartstrings. Number 7, Kimi ni Todoke. <laughs> Right after one shouju anime, we're jumping into another shouju anime. That is good. What happens when the adorable girl in class looks like she is the daughter of Hannibal Lecter? That's the deal with Sako, also known as Sudoku because of it. But really, Sako is innocent and just really wants to make friends and get closer to Kazehaya, the popular cheerful guy at school. Oh, 
By now, you know this is another unpopular girl loves popular boy show, but this time the girl gets a chance. Sako's got a plan for this during the bravery test. Not only does she want to befriend Kazehaya, but she hopes to make some new friends too. But she doesn't realize how much her plans will shake things up for her new buddies. Despite being a shoujo anime, this has some of the most wholesome moments I have seen. Plus, the chemistry between the couple is really nice, so give it a go. Number 6, Maid Sama. ま、バカ、それとこれとは別だ。それにお前だって誰にも言う。当然。俺だけのメイドだからな。this is about a show for all my bros with the maid obsession. So what's Maid Sama about? Well, let's go over it again. There's this fiery girl starting a feminist movement in school, but she also works as a maid to support her family. Then she meets the coolest guy in school. He's always leaning on walls, teasing girls, and basically being the ultimate 21st century stalker. Over time, the fiery girl starts to chill out, showing that tough girls can warm up to bad boys if they're treated right. <laughs> The chemistry between the couple of maid sama is just perfect. And the personalities between the two characters really stand out. I know there are a lot of cool looking guys in anime nowadays, but in the 2010s, there weren't many girls simping attention seekers. At first, our girl's attitude might be a love it or hate it thing, but you'll start to like her once you know where she comes from. Number 5, Nana. <laughs> If you're tired of high schoolers, let's move to some adults with adult issues. Or relationship issues, since more than 90% of adult issues are either money or relationship issues. Do you know what's interesting about Nana Saki and Nana Komitsu? They share the same first name, but that's where their similarities end. Nana Osaki dreams of becoming a famous rock star and ruling the music scene. On the other hand, Nana Komatsu is all about finding her prince charming and living happily ever after. Fate brings them together on a train and they hit it off right away, becoming best friends forever. Nana has tons of drama and heartwarming moments. Trust me, it isn't another romance comedy anime where every serious situation turns into a joke. This is a serious anime, folks. Nana is not just a romance story. It's about friendship, too. So, if you're ready for a romantic journey filled with laughter, tears, and a sprinkle of rock and roll, Nana is the anime you've been searching for. Number 4, Oran High School Host Club. ご予約の who said reverse harems were a bad thing when we have shows like Oran? This time, we don't have abusive vampires or bad boys, which is probably one of the reasons this anime was so good. It's about Hari, who accidentally breaks a vase in the host club room and ends up joining to pay off her debt. The host club is a group of guys who entertain the girls at school, and they're all really quirky and lovable characters. <laughs> Even though it's been around for a while, Oran High School Host Club is still super fun to watch and considered one of the best romantic anime out there. The show even talks about serious stuff like being broke or feeling lonely, but in a funny way that'll keep you laughing until the very end. It is still one of the best rom-coms I've watched to this day, and I'm pretty sure that opening is going to get stuck in my head till the day I die. Number 3, Clan Ad. Alright gentlemen, time to cry like babies. Clanad is about this guy named Tomoya Okazaki, who starts off not caring much about school and getting into trouble. But then he meets Nagisa Furukawa and ends up joining her drama club. With the help of some other girls, his life starts to change. <laughs> Yotte
Now, don't confuse Clan Ad with Clan Ad After Story. Clan Ad is all fun and games, while After Story is a funeral disguised as an anime. After Story can really make you cry and take you on an emotional roller coaster. As someone who's seen both Clan Ad and its sequels, I can tell you it's definitely one of those shows that sticks with you. But if you're not into sad anime, then it's best to watch Clan Ad and then form your own headcanon about the characters. Number two, Spice and Wolf. <laughs> Nope, we're not talking about the new version. We're here for the old one. This story is about a powerful wolf goddess named Hollow, once she's really respected, but now nobody seems to care about her. And she wants to go back to visit Yuitsu town. To make that happen, she becomes friends with a merchant called Kraft Lawrence. She offers to be his business partner if he takes her to Yuitsu. Kraft, being a merchant, thinks this is a good deal because Hollow can figure out people's personalities well. <laughs> Do you want economics? Do you want great character banter? Do you want emotional moments and cunning plans laid by big organizations? Most of all, do you want love? Spice and Wolf got all of that. It's a love story in a way, and though it might be a bit slow, Spice and Wolf has everything you want in a romance anime about a goddess and a human. Number one, Toradora. Toradora's first episode won't make you fall in love with the show. Ryuji seems like a typical main character, and Taiga didn't seem promising as the lead. Thankfully, the second episode got better. Both main characters want to impress their crushes, so they agree to be friends after a while. And then slowly, little by little, this turned out to be one of the best romance anime I've ever watched. No, seriously, go to any of my lists about romance anime, and you'll find Toradora at number one. <laughs> Unlike some other anime, Toradora doesn't focus on making its characters super attractive or cool. Taiga isn't supposed to be a perfect crush, and Ryuji isn't the typical cool guy who gets the girl easy. And that is pretty much what makes them relatable. And since the couple starts off as enemies and slowly becomes lovers, we see how their chemistry is being built step by step. It's hard to sum up why Toradora is so good in just a few words. It's packed with elements that make it really enjoyable. And I'm pretty sure no matter how many new romance anime pop out, Toradora will still be the best romance anime show ever made.